y, z are positive real numbers, find the maximum value of this expression. x, y, z are positive real numbers, it will be easier to find the minimum value for the reciprocal for this expression. We consider the reciprocal of the expression. And we wish to find what is the minimum value, minimum value for this. This is 1 plus x, x plus y, y plus z, z plus 16. It seems that we can bring this term over x and the next one over y and the final one over z. And this will give us the first one still the same, 1 plus x, and the second one will be 1 plus y over x. The third one, 1 plus z over y, and the last one, 1 plus 16 over z. It's normally for us to consider mgn for each of the term. For this, we'll get it is just 9, and it is greater than or equals to 2 square root of x, 2 square root of y over x, 2 square root of z over y, and 2 square root of 16 over z. And this will be equal to 16 times 4, that is 64. Then square root of x cancel off, square root of y cancel off, square root of z cancel off. So this question seems very simple, that this is greater than or equal to 64. But wait a minute, we only need to check whether the equality holds. The equality holds if and only if 1 equals to x and 1 equals to y over x and 1 equals to z over y and 1 equals to 16 over z. And this will give me x equals to 1. If x equals to 1, y will equal to 1. If y equals to 1, z will equal to 1. If z equals to 1, then 1 will equal to 16. That will be a contradiction. It means that the equality never holds. So we just conclude that this term will be strictly greater than 64. Unfortunately, 64 is not the minimum value. So what should we do now? We can't use the AMGN from each of the term, but we can modify a little bit and see what will happen. So I'll erase this, and I'll put a note here that 1 plus x1, 1 plus x2 is equal to 1 plus x1 plus x2 plus x1 x2. If x1 and x2 are positive real numbers, x1 plus x2 will be greater than or equals to 2 square root of x1, x2. And this turns out that this is 1 plus square root of x1, x2 squared. So if x1, x2 are positive real numbers, 1 plus x1 times 1 plus x2 will be greater than or equals to square of 1 plus square root x1, x2. This is so because of AMGN inequality. Or actually we can say that from the first step, we can jump to the conclusion because of Cauchy inequality. And the equality holds if and only if 1 over 1 equals to x1 over x2. Meaning that the equality holds if and only if x1 equals to x2. Now we are going to use this into here. So we will do this for the first two terms. This is 1 plus x1, 1 plus x2. This will be greater than or equal to 1 plus uh, square root of x1 and x2. That is equal to y squared. And combine the third and fourth term, 1 plus x1, 1 plus x2. 1 plus square root of, um, cancel off. 16 over y uh, square. Now, we can take out the square, and it will be 1 plus x1 and 1 plus x2. So this will be greater than or equals to 1 plus square root of 
square of y and square of 16 over y. And square, square again, that is a power 4. And this is equals to uh, square of y will cancel off. Square of, square of 16 is equal to 4. And square of 4 will be equal to 2. And this is 3 to the power of 4. That is 81. So now we get this expression is greater than or equal to 81. Of course, we need to check whether the equality holds. Equality holds if and only if from here x equals to y over x and from here z over y equals to 16 over z and from these two y equals to 16 over y y equals to 16 over y so after we combine this we will see that y will be equal to 4 if y equals to 4 x will equal to 2 and if x equals to 4, z will equal to 8. This is equivalent to say that x, y, z is equal to 2, 4, and 8. So when you substitute x equals to 2, y equals to 4, and z equals to 8, you will get the answer here is 81. Back to the question, the maximum for this expression will be the reciprocal for the minimum and therefore we know that this will be 1 over 81 and therefore 1 over 81 will be the answer for this question so this is end of today's lesson i'll see you again bye bye <laughs>